Welcome to our tech troubleshooting session. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter, receiving a null value in a post parameter. Our viewer is struggling with a web API REST post request to a controller where the customer object is always null. Let's dive into the details and see how we can resolve this problem together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. In this video, we will address the issue of receiving a null value in a post request to a web API controller. Let's start by examining the controller code. The model we are using is defined as a customer class, which includes properties for ID, last name, and first name. Let's take a look at that model. Now let's review the post request being sent to the API. It's important to ensure that the JSON body is correctly formatted. Here's the request format. If you're still receiving null values, one effective solution is to use a curl command to test the API. This can help identify if the issue lies with the request format. By using this curl command, you can verify that the API is correctly receiving the data. If it works, the issue may be with how the request is being sent from other tools. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To resolve the null value issue in your post parameter, you should use a customer object instead of a string. Update your method to accept the customer object from the request body. After making the change, your method should return the customer's first name successfully. Make sure to repost your request after updating. Here's how your post request should look. Ensure the content type is set to application slash JSON and include the customer details in JSON format. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To resolve the issue of receiving a null value in your post parameters, ensure that your entity is defined as a customer object, not a string. Also, remember to include the HTTP POST attribute on your method, and there's no need for the from body attribute. And that's it, guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.